Olá, YouTube. My name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a Will Addict. Come with me. Janice, it's very important. You know the title of this video. We're recording something. You know the title of this video? Yeah. I'm going to offer you, I'm going to buy you a pair of aggressive skates. Okay, could you not do this just now? I'm really having a meeting with her. Yeah, but I wanted to get your thing, your reaction. It's not like, oh, oh, really? Ricardo, but then you should have stopped there when I told you I'm trying to have a meeting with her. Like a serious meeting. Okay, I'll buy you skates when she's in the mood. Take two. Come with me. My relationship is solved. Janice, I have a surprise for you. Oh my god! <laughs> what is it? I love surprises. How fake can you be? <laughs> wow. 90% of this body is plastic. I know, I know. Stand up, Barbie. <laughs> I'm gonna offer you, I'm gonna let you choose a pair of inline okay, skates. Husband, which ones do you think I should take? I'm not having aggressive skates, please. I know that you want aggressive skates, of course. It's the name of this video. <laughs> so the thing is, Janice has been skating with roller skates for a while and she wants to learn how to grind, but the truth is she can't with roller skates. You need more commitment. And last week we, have, we had some visitors from Holland and last night I was just telling her, look, if you got some aggressive skates, it's going to be easier for you to learn how to grind. So, you get to choose the USD Aeons, the Dam also fits you, the Dam U1 also fits you. No, that's too fancy for me. It's not, it's just black and it has leather. Yeah, but it doesn't have wheels or... They can put together with a pair of Wish frames, we got Wish, we got 50-50, you can choose whatever you want. Really? Can I get the expensive stuff? If, just choose the skates you want. You also got the yellow ones. I don't know. I'm probably more going to do the yellow or the M12. Up to you. Just choose. Do you like the yellow ones the most? They fit. Oh, am I going to die? This is not going to fit right. I don't know what you've done here. No, I like them. Okay, so you just got yellow skates. Now let's go and skate them. Now next step, we go to the park and we skate them. I want to do a front soil backflip. What's the soil? A front soil. What's a front soil? <laughs> front slide. Is a soil a thing? I want my teeth. I like my teeth. Can we see them? I want to keep. It might my be the last time we see them. I want to keep all my teeth. What else? I just want to have fun, my friend. So where can they buy those? <gasps> Yeah, you can buy them at Lino Sketch Shop. They are now available in South Africa, my bro. And we'll add it dot shop. They're both my shops, so I have to market both of them. Shout out goes out to Lino Skate Shop and the Wheel Addict Shop. You guys will need to start buying skates so I can buy them fakies. <laughs> <laughs> And here we are, a couple minutes later, this is probably going to be the most entertaining video that you've ever saw with aggressive skates. Janice, what happens with your brain when you go up the ramp? <laughs> so what Ricardo doesn't understand is that I am used to roller skates with a toe stop. Yes, I can inline skate, but I inline skate distance. So like up and down and forward. This is the first time I have inline skates aggressive skates in a skate park and that I try and do ramps or anything so going up things is a bit scary and then my brain freezes and I forget I don't have toe stops so I've been going up ramps and kind of just hanging onto them let's see it sometimes my brain forgets okay let's hope it doesn't forget <laughs> I'm sorry, but that can't be forgetting. <laughs> I didn't want to go straight, and then I did go straight. <sighs> you need to go in an angle, go up in an angle. I know. Really. I also need bigger knee pads if I'm going to take this on. No, what you really need is if you go up straight, you need to bring your chest up. And even if you go up sideways, you, no one goes up the ramp like this. You need to go up the ramp and just 
Go with the ramp. But You're... I don't want to go up the ramp. I forget that I need to turn. I have never seen anything like this. It's I think scary. It scary. For a while, I've never seen it's anything different. like this. It's different. Why are you not using wrist guards? It wasn't, it was like here, I got hurt. Chafing from the, the ramp. I don't know what she thinks. And I'm a bit scared still of stopping. So my stopping skills are still not at the level that they should be. What tricks do you want me to do? So let's try. Let's try the normal line that you usually do. Usually you go through that oh, spiky thing, then you turn on that ramp on the corner, and then you do this one right here. But you got that? Yeah. Oh, I'm scared. Okay, just go for it. I'm going to go slowly. Of course. Yeah. Turn, go. I'm scared. <laughs> Let's do one thing first. You're gonna go sideways, you're gonna turn. Let's do it again. I know, I know this. You know that I know yes, this. Yes, but that's why you're gonna do it again. Let's go. Can I just do it from here? It's easy. Yes, you can. Go. Just let me do it from here. Okay, go a bit higher. A bit I higher. Get it, you I got get it. it, I get it, I get it. Good. Now let's go up the ramp that I told you in the middle, alone. Do the penguin thing. If you want to go up hill, you put your feet like this. Let's see. Do the penguin, go from one side to the yes, other, maybe you can do it. Ricardo, I did it with speed and I fell. Hoop, 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 hoop. Now go hoop. sideways. You got it. One foot, lean forward, boom. Oh. Easy, girl. Dude, I broke out in sweats, and not because it's hot, it's because I'm nervous. Yeah, but it's very hot. Oh, my shattered nerves. Come on, penguin, let's do this. <laughs> we drop together, holding hands. What Put am I gonna do? Just stop in the middle. Stop in the middle. <gasps> now you go down. Oh. Is that what I was, did I stop on the middle? Yes. That Is stops that... on the middle because you have middle wheels. It's called, it's called, you have small middle wheels. It's called anti-rocker. Just do it from there, I'll wait here. So where am I stopping? Am I stopping between those wheels or am between I stopping Between those wheels. Huh? Between the wheels in the middle, like this. Okay. Go, little jump down. Little jump down, Boom. jump. You got it. Wait there for me. You got it? Middle. Penguin. I did penguin this time. Now go. What is that? <laughs> Classy. Oh, man. <laughs> Yay! And the crowds go wild. <laughs> now, New skill that you don't, you never did with that. I got I've never new... done any of this with this. Yeah, this but I got a new, new skill skills. now. I got a new skill for you. Do you know what? This should be your video for new skill share because this is a new skill, my friend. <laughs> Let me teach you a thing. So what you want to learn now, it's just this. You are still scared. The problem here is that you are used to use the toe stops. I'm not gonna go high though. No, you need to Let go slow. Let me just do this little one and then... Yeah, just do slow. Arms up. Ah, no. ah. Very scary. Ah. Perfect. Oh, my heart. One thing that is going to help you, instead of bringing your feet parallel, which is harder, bring one foot in front of the other, like this. This is going to, in to increase the, the, the wheelbase. Oh, really? One foot in front of the other, you got it, easy. That's it. Easy. Oh, it's this coming down part. How I do you turn from there? Because I don't have toe stops. Look at this. To turn, all you need to do is... You can do it. Go. 
How's your turn? <laughs> no. Turn. Touch your knees when you land. So that you don't fall backwards. And then you need to spin the full thing. You're not spinning the full thing. You can do it. Meaning that it's 180 degrees. Good. That was perfect. Now let's go a tiny bit higher. You can do it. It's going to be easier. Look. I, just, I feel shaky, man, when I Which like Which is come perfectly back normal. But the higher you go, the more you have space to adapt to the ramp. Just try it. It's very fast. Going very fast. Wait. That's okay. Now, if you're going to go to the small one, it's going to be a lot easier. That's it. That one scares me. Why does it scare you? They all scare me. Chest up. Good. <laughs> I nearly grabbed it. <laughs> that was scary. Very scary. That's very risky. <laughs> okay, now the thing that I want you to learn here. Am I going to grind? Yep. Yeah. That's why we got you those skates. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can be behind me. All I want you to do is just do this yeah. and take your foot up, put down again. Just this. Couple times. That's it. Now feel it. Just hold me. Yeah, first. It's all good. For you to be able to do that, your knee needs to be on top of your foot. Here. Now you can take it as long as you want. I have weird legs. Just, just bring it up. No. This belly button on top of the foot, knee on top of the of the foot. There. Just stay there. You can stay for as long as you want. Lift it up. You can stay. Really stay. Take the hand from here. You're, good. You're staying. Bring the knee up to my to my hand here. Just stay here. Now what you can do too is when you do that, you can bring your chest a bit low like this. You can do it. Dude, I have these long like spider legs. Let's go. Perfect. What am I telling you to bring your knees and your belly button? Yeah. Maybe. Up on top of this one. Let's do one thing first. You're having difficulty to get this. You come to the top, you put your foot on top of the ledge, open your arms and stay, and then come down. I don't want this. I want to stay on top and then come down. Just stay. Open your arms. One, two. You need to count to three. One, two, three. One, two. Nope. One. You know why you can do that? Because this explain. isn't right. Exactly. My belly button so, in that. So just go there. One. One. <gasps> I'm holding you. But you I'm... pushed me. <laughs> Just go. I'm holding it. Goes. You. I've got this. One, two, three. Okay, now do that. That was perfect. But without extending your knee, because you did this. You need to keep your knee a bit bent while you do that. No, no, not. Don't touch me. That's what now I need on you. top. On top, my baby. Knee bent a little bit, and now go one, two, three, and then come down. Belly yes. button yes. knee. One, one two, two, three. Perfect. Now do that on the corner. Now I need you. No, you don't. It's the exact same. But is this stable? No, it's, stable. it's fully stable. Look, you can stay there for minutes. You can stay there for minutes, really. One, two, three. Bring these there. It doesn't slide out. It, don't, be, don't be scared. Stay. One, two. You can stay there forever. One, two, three. Okay, leave me, leave me, leave me. One, two, three. See, that's it. Exactly. Now try to stay here more, a little bit longer. You can actually take advantage of the space to stay longer. Try it. Do it. I'm not pushing. Don't I'm not push pushing. Me. I'm not pushing. I'm not pushing. One. I'm just holding you. One, two, three. Again. One. Don't. <laughs> One, two, three. Come on, let's do three. One, One two, three. Perfect. Yes. Come with me. Now you come from here. Come with me. Now you're gonna come skating. I'll I'll give you a hand and you do this. Put your foot and then go. One, two, three. You go out. Even if you wait to stop, it doesn't matter. Come. Oh. Put the foot there slowly. One, two. <laughs> That's good. Do it again. Look, look. The ledge starts here. Why are you coming here already? You have a long ledge. That's why we are here. So you can slowly put your foot. Okay, come from there. Roll. You have space. You have time. You have control on your skates. Come. Roll, roll, roll. Now. Go. Good, that's it. Now what I want you to do, I probably need to wax that a little bit. 
move a bit. I wanted to just try this, look. I wanted to try this. I'll give you a hand. It's the exact same thing. When you feel that your foot is there, if you are rolling where you put your foot, you are starting to grind. Go, go. That's it. Now you want to do it while there's still speed, so you're grinding. Go a bit faster, it's going to help you. Slow, it stops. Go. See, you felt the grind now. You just need to come faster, because I yes. need to push you. Yes, but just, you must also realize. Go. <laughs> go again. There's another thing that you can do, it's probably going to help you, okay? Come here. So now, you put one foot like this. Can you do the second foot this? It's easy, come here. Just try the lo locking after the bump, because that's where you are doing it. Here, now put the other foot in front. Exactly. If you do this, all you want to do is to keep your knees together, and this would slide. Okay, this is another way to slide. This is not the soil, this is the sole. <laughs> okay, so all you need to do is this first. One, two, out. Wait, I'm wait, only gonna grind. wait, wait. I'm only gonna wait, push. now, go. <laughs> this is the beginning of a great career as an aggressive skater. Janice Smith, the owner of two skate shops, a roller skater and also an aggressive grind skater. Anything else to add? Just a badass bitch. <laughs> And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Make sure to leave me a thumbs up if it was cool. And of course, you need to press that bell button if you want to get notifications every time I upload one of these. And to finish this video, just like I always do, just don't ever forget why we all started skating. You know why, Janice? Because it's fun and you can get cute skates. <laughs> and this is, is it a bit scary? Huh? Is it a bit challenging too? You're a little bit challenging and it is a bit scary. <laughs> and this is the beginning of a great divorce. <laughs> <laughs>